Thomas Tuchel in talks with struggling Man United star over England recall. Marcus Rashford is set to receive an England lifeline after Thomas Tuchel told the Manchester United star he was an essential part of his plans. Once a mainstay in the Three Lions setup, Rashford's status on the international stage has plummeted over the past 18 months after a massive drop in form for his club. In 2023-24, he scored just eight goals and made six assists in 43 games for United, leading Gareth Southgate to stunningly exclude him from his Euro 2024 squad. With performances not improving this season, the forward has failed to make any of interim England boss Lee Carsley's squads, with the likes of Anthony Gordon, Eberecki Ease, and Jack Grealish ahead in the pecking order. However, 2025 will mark the start of a new era for England, with former Chelsea boss Tuchel set to take the reins of the national team. And, according to The Sun, the German wants Rashford to play a huge part in his side and will get a recall in March, providing his form improves. It is said Tuchel contacted the 27-year-old and told him that he was a huge admirer of the player and saw him as an essential part of the England squad. Furthermore, the new manager believes Rashford's absence played a part in England's struggling campaign at the Euros where they were defeated by Spain in the final, as they did not have a strong attacking threat on the left. Since scoring on his three Lions debut back in 2016, the United star has won 60 caps for his country, finding the back of the net 17 times. He was part of the England squad for Euro 2016 and 2020 and the World Cups in 2018 and 2022, scoring three times at the latter tournament. With just four goals and three assists in 17 appearances so far this season, Rashford has work to do to justify a recall to the team and will be hoping that new Red Devils boss Ruben Amram can revitalize him. In the meantime, England take on Greece and Ireland in the Nations League next week in Carsley's final two games in charge. Tuchel will make his three Lions debut in March when qualifying for the 2026 World Cup begins, with the draw to be made in December. Ruben Amorim very happy to manage talented boy at Manchester United. Ruben Amorim insists he is very happy to be reunited with Manuel Ugarte at Manchester United and believes he has a lot of room to grow. Ugarte has largely underwhelmed at Old Trafford since joining the Red Devils in a £50 million move from Paris Saint-Germain over the summer. The Uruguayan midfielder will look to kickstart his Premier League career under a manager he helped win the Portuguese league title with at Sporting Lisbon. PSG poached Ugarte from Lisbon after that title-winning campaign but the French giants were happy to sell him just 12 months later. Ugarte struggled to assert himself under former Manchester United boss Eric Ten Hag but will hope to fare better under his replacement, Amarim. Amarim has described his former sporting star as a very talented boy and says he is very happy to be reunited with the 23-year-old in Manchester. All the Uruguayans I managed are incredible and that's why I love all Uruguayans, Amarim told TNT Sports Mexico. Manuel Ugarte is a very talented boy and has a lot of room to grow. I am very happy to know that I have him back at Manchester United. Amarim officially takes over at Manchester United on Monday after leading out Sporting Lisbon for the final time against Braga on Sunday evening. The Portuguese coach is set to leave with Sporting sitting top of the table and having recently masterminded an impressive 4-1 Champions League win over Premier League champions Manchester City. Amarim has already admitted he would love to bring sporting midfielder Pedro Goncalves with him to Old Trafford but says he will not be signing any of his current players in January. I won't in January, that's what I said. I don't know about the summer, Amarim said on Saturday. The first point, to hold on until the summer. Sporting's players are very good players. I don't know. We'll see. Asked specifically about a potential move for Goncalves after he becomes United manager, Amarim said, he can play in any team in the world and with any player, because he is a great player. I could take him anywhere. He is very funny, which improves the personal relationship. But he is also very intelligent, but he also has to focus on sporting because we have to be champions this year. But he could play in any team in the world. Manchester United, currently 13th in the Premier League table, face Leicester City on Sunday in their final game before Amarim takes charge. Two Man United stars send message to Ruben Amarim over roles in New Man United era. 
Once Manchester United's forgotten man, Ahmad Diallo's prospects look brighter than ever ahead of the arrival of Ruben Amarim. Amarim will officially take the reins at Old Trafford on Monday with plenty waiting in his entree. Before he gets to work, some of the gloom that has engulfed Old Trafford has lifted during Ruud van Nistelrooy's bright spell in charge as interim boss which ended with a flourish on Sunday with a 3-0 win over Leicester City. Bruno Fernandes shone with Manuel Agarte providing another much-improved showing ahead of his reunion with his former sporting Lisbon boss. But a second standout performance from a man in a week also caught the eye. The Ivorian turned in a superb display in the Europa League against Pac on Thursday night, scoring twice as the club ended their wretched run without a win in Europe. The 22-year-old kept his place in the side Sunday against Leicester at the expense of Alejandro Garnacho, tormenting the Leicester backline at times and providing the sumptuous assist for Fernandes' opener, back healing into the path of the Portuguese who lashed home from range. Ahmad has endured his ups and downs since arriving in Manchester in 2019 from Atlanta. Last season, his first full campaign back at United following loan spells at Rangers and Sunderland, he took his chances, notably on that chaotic afternoon against Liverpool in the FA Cup quarter-final when he wrote his name into United folklore. But there were perhaps not enough chances those performances merited. The winger started three of the opening four Premier League games this season but without real explanation, suddenly lost his place. In Eric Ten Hag's penultimate game in charge against Venerbos, another night in Europe where the lead was thrown away, Ahmad was overlooked as the Dutchman brought on Antony with his side chasing the win. Ten Hag suggested it was Antony's performances in training that merited him getting the nod ahead of Ahmad. The Ivory Coast made a mockery of those comments on Thursday night against Pak and underlined the importance of his role again on Sunday. Better in possession and perhaps more hardworking than Marcus Rashford and Alejandro Garnacho, Ahmad will be well placed to earn a place in Amarum's team, possessing the attributes needed to play in the Portuguese's preferred 3-4-3 formation. I am excited to have him in this team and I can't wait to work with him, Diallo said of Amarum this week. Everyone is here to give his best, and sometimes it's good. So today we have to enjoy together, and we are ready for the next step. Ugarte is another who will feel reinvigorated heading into the new era. The £51 million summer signing from Paris Saint-Germain started all four games under Van Nistelrooy with an industrious yet controlled performance against Leicester the pick of the bunch. The 23-year-old spent two seasons under Amarim at Sporting, brought to the club for a modest fee of £4.5 million before eventually displacing Joao Paulhinha in midfield. That midfield authority United paid for was on show against Leicester, with Ugarte winning eight tackles on Sunday afternoon. While Amarim have new ideas on how to solve United's woes, that existing relationship could prove vital. Amarim boards plane to Manchester before officially starting at Man United. New Manchester United manager Ruben Amarim has boarded his flight to the northwest of England ahead of his tenure at Old Trafford commencing. United's dismal start to the new season, which sees them sat in 13th in the Premier League table, prompted the club's hierarchy to sack Eric Ten Hag two weeks ago. The Red Devils moved swiftly to appoint Amarim as the Dutchman's successor, with the Portuguese remaining as sporting boss until this international break. Now, he'll begin his reign in the Old Trafford hot seat, and has boarded his flight to Manchester on Monday morning. The 39-year-old's first game in charge will be away at Ipswich on November 24th.